To add an image in OBS Studio, it's quite simple. Go down to the Sources section and hit the plus button down here. Once you hit that plus button, select the Image option. Once this pops up, I recommend naming it whatever the name of your image is. I'm just going to do a generic name, but definitely identify your image to make it easy to find and sort out later. Once this menu pops up, you're going to hit the Browse button right here to go find the image on your computer. So you're going to need to have it downloaded to your computer right now before you can implement it. I'm going to select a thumbnail from my podcast, the Digital Drop Podcast for Creators. As you can see, there's the YouTube thumbnail. Once you have the image pulled up, go ahead and hit OK, and then you can exit out of this menu. The image is now implemented into your Canvas preview window. Now, there's a few options you should be aware of of what you can do with this image. So one of them is, if you want the image to go away, you can hit the Eyeball button right here under Sources, and it'll make the, it'll make the image disappear. So Eyeball turns off, Eyeball turns back on. And it's a very clear visual indicator here as to when that turns off and on. You can also resize it by clicking any of the squares on the side of the image. For example, down here, you can resize it, you can move around. And if you ever want the image to go back to full screen, the fastest way to do that is right click on it, go down to transform and go to fit to screen and it'll pop up full screen. But let's say you want to show multiple images and you want to scroll between those multiple images. Cool. One thing you should do once the image is locked into place is go ahead and hit the lock button down here so you can't screw it up. The way to add that additional image is to go down here to scenes and hit the plus button down here in the bottom left hand corner. Let's hit that and we're going to call it scene number two for this one. Then once you reach this new scene, as you can see the canvas, nothing is there anymore. It's time to add your second image, and I'll show you how to scroll between these two images and an unlimited number of images, essentially. Hit the plus button here, and we're going to go through the same process, my friends. Plus and image, and we're going to call this one image 2. Let's go ahead and browse on our computer and find a second and different image for this test. I'm going to choose this other thumbnail from my podcast, Digital Drop Podcast for Creators. We're going to hit OK once this image has been loaded. So now in scene two over here, we have this image. And then if we click scene one, check it out. You're clicking over here in the scenes section of OBS right down here. Whenever you click scene one, it'll switch over to the, the image in that scene. If you want to switch to scene two, it'll switch to the image in that scene, and you can add an unlimited number of scenes, as you'd see fit if you'd want to scroll through four, five, six, seven, eight, nine images as you're doing a presentation or whatever. That's the easy way to switch between images, as you can see. And if you'd like me to help you with your home studio setup, with your OBS, I've done multi-million dollar webinars uh, as a production executive for years now. I'm happy to help you. AWOLDigital.com is my website. Link in the description below. Go there and book me immediately, right now, by clicking your day, clicking your time, and hitting confirm and just provide your information, pay, and boom. I'm on a one-on-one -on -one video coaching call with you, helping you with your YouTube strategy, streaming strategy, home studio, technical items, you name it. I've literally been helping people get up and running with online broadcasting for a living for 10 years, and I'm here to help you as well.